I'm Alex Case Cohen, the manager of the Pondere Conservation District. I'm here with Roger Bozell, and we are speaking about his stream bank stabilization project, um, why he started it, uh, what the process was like, and, and how, it's, how it's turning out um, now that the project is finished. So, Roger, do you want to tell us a little bit about how you purchased the property and, and decided to do this project? Well, we found a property for sale by owner on accident, kind of. and just fell in love with it, bought it right away, and started building. And then we then uh, come up with this idea of doing the bank because of the erosion. We could see the erosion happening here, mm -hmm. a little bit at a time. So this, this grant money came up to get it done, and that was perfect time for us to do it before we finished all this stuff here. So that was got us going, and David, you know, David Marcel was a huge help in getting this done. Awesome work. Great, good to hear. Um, so, how was the permitting process for you? Did it seem pretty difficult to navigate, or? Uh, I had my permit when the grant money came available mm -hmm. already, and I applied for that the year before through Andy Huddleston, I believe, mm -hmm. at, the, at the county building. He he helped me get the permit. Great. Give me a sample permit. I copied it, made it my permit, and then applied for it. And they got it right through Fish and Game and through County, and that was slick. Went very well. Good. So when we did this, we were already permitted, ready to go. Great. And so, how's the end product? I mean, it's been a couple years now. Um, you you had rock down um, installed down at the base of the toe, right at the toe there, and at the ordinary high water mark. Um, it looks like you've had some re-sloping and then some plantings done. How has it, um, how is the end product and how has it been over the past couple years? It's been perfect. As you can see, uh, we've got a few rocks that the current drags down a little bit down into the beach. But other than that, it's just worked awesome. Okay. You know, no problems whatsoever. Very happy with it. Great. Well, we're so happy to hear that. We're thrilled with all of it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and we're thrilled with half of it being paid for. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. That was a big help too. Great. So we're standing down here at Mr. Bazell's bank. Um, we're taking a look at the work that needs to be done. So what you see here is about a, a quarter to a third of the way up. You have angular rock. And the purpose of the angular rock is to allow the rock to lock into place so you have minimal sliding. Again, once the river moves up uh, during the flooding part of the year, which is typically in May or June, um, and then again, begins to pull down. If you have smaller um, smaller or rounder rocks, it's more likely that you will lose those rocks because there's nothing holding them into place. But if you see here, you have less rock that is moving back with the current because they're actually locking together um, and preventing any movement. Um, what you see also are additional shrubs, um, riparian shrubs that have been planted in the rock and up the bank. The purpose of those is to provide a strong root system. Now many people will believe that rock is what holds banks in place, but that's not true. It's actually roots. So roots will, will branch out, they'll link with each other from other plants, and they will stabilize the soil. Um, that is really what provides bank stabilization. So there's rock at the toe to prevent any uh, erosion, bank erosion or undercutting. Uh, which will then, which would then undermine what's happening up higher. Uh, the bank is also sloped um, so that if once the water rises during the flooding part of the year and then recedes, it's more natural, like what you would see on a on a natural stream bank. This project was funded funded by the Pondere PUDs erosion control project. They provide $5,000 for bank stabilization like what we've seen here. Um, they also provide $500 for cottonwood plantings and other riparian plants in order to provide um, habitat for eagles. So if you're interested in applying for a bank stabilization project, there's always the potential for more funding to be available as well. Please contact the Pondere Conservation District at 447-1155. You can also send an email to alexcc at pocd.org.